Hello and uh, welcome to this micro training video from FMCG Academy. Simply pause on the screen if you want to uh, read the cover slide. Um, today's topic is eight mega trends that impact the uh, FMCG or consumer packaged goods industry. And this is based on an article I wrote some time back. So this video series is going to be in eight parts because there are eight mega trends. Uh, so today is the first part and that's about big data or big data as you want to call it. So the key thing with big data, there are four things I want to point out here with the first mega trend of big data. There is a massive data explosion and that is simply due to the increased ability uh, of the world to acquire, store, process, uh, all this information and data being generated. And more importantly, also the ability to sell. Uh, so there are a lot of organizations now which purely are data sellers or data resellers uh, and analytics uh, support organizations. There used to be a few, now there are a number of them, and I can name a few right away, uh, but I won't at this stage. So there is a number of organizations which have jumped up, uh, which can acquire, store, process, and sell you a lot of data. Uh, with regards to the FMCG industry, uh, we've been reasonably data rich uh, for about the last 20 to 30 years, you know. Uh, we've had weekly or daily sales, as you want to call it. Uh, there's been brand tracking, uh, ad tracking, shopper data, and there are another hundred metrics, you know, you can... Uh, uh, you, you you can go through or, you know, depending on which organization you talk to, uh, you, you there are a number of different metrics which are being generated on a weekly, monthly basis. So as an industry, we've been reasonably data rich, uh, at times insight rich too, but, you know, you can be very data rich and at the same time also be insight poor. Um, and that is the difference between a good FMCG organization and a not so good one. Uh, both will have the same amount of data, but the smarter one is going to be insight rich rather than insight poor. So the point I'm trying to make here is, yes, there is a data explosion, but the FMCG industry has been used to a lot of data and data coming through, you know, uh, and we're comfortable with that um, as an industry. 95% of the data being bought um, is useless today. And that's simply the big reason I see that is it's just due to the frequency it is being bought at. Um, people are buying stuff on a daily, a weekly basis and trying to make uh, decisions based on insights mined out of those weekly buckets of data. And that is totally incorrect in the FMCG world. You know, it just doesn't work like that. Um, people don't buy your products every day. Uh, people buy them once a month, once a week, uh, once in two weeks. There are different frequencies and it takes time for you to actually mine through and see a full consumer cycle of a product usage. So people are buying a lot of data and making corrections. Now, by all means, go and buy a high frequency data when you're launching a new product or you have a new, a new ad out and you want to track it. Uh, but otherwise, it is simply going to make you believe in a short term truth, which actually does not exist. So you're going to see such a short term snapshot and you're going to make a judgment call which is going to have a long-term impact and that's what something you do not want to do so how do the smarter organizations work so the smarter organizations or the smart brands are only going to buy relevant data it's just simple and straightforward now which is the relevant data and that depends on your ecosystem you know and your organization and the way your business is uh, structured um, and it requires experience, uh, marketing capability and intellect uh, to make sure you buy the relevant data. And of course, as I've been po pointing out earlier, it has to be at the right frequency. Um, and that will help you actually manage your information costs. You know, uh, People are buying a lot of information or data and they just... Uh, it, the whole cost of buying all of that is just spiraling out of control. Uh, and there is that aspect uh, with some people of, you know, the fear of missing out. So the FOMO factor, as uh, social media scientists call it. Um, there is this whole fear of missing out. Everyone's got the data. I better get it. Um, and I might do something with it. I'll make some sense of it. Uh, and that's what is guiding a lot of these organizations and you need to be very mindful of doing that. And the direction for that needs to come right from the top uh, because that's what impacts how uh, how FMCG organizations uh, buy data. And make sure you connect the right dots to consumer behavior. Uh, and that's, again, that's a skill. And because if you connect the right dots with the right data and purchase, purchase it at the right frequency, um, you're going to develop fantastic new products, uh, which are likely more likely to succeed. You're going to manage trade expectations better, and you're going to manage your communication costs also better. 
Um, so that was the first mega trend. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about the speed of social media, but that's for another video. Thank you.